Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 in this series. Um, I noticed last time that we didn't actually put a roof on. Um, there's a reason for that, because I want to be able to edit the insides without having some weird camera issues. So I'm going to put the roof on right at the end. So, last time we left it off like this, and I think one of the first things we need to do is add a door. Now, or at least a door hole. I personally think this would be a good idea for a door. So using some of these basic tools, we're going to just make a door. And I haven't found any of this, so... It's just basically um, on the fly, really. So I'm going to try and get the shape of a door here. So I'm going to use insert a little bit. And I like what I see. Um, that sort of size. And I'm just going to split it thinner than that and bring it down. Okay, so we've got our little door shape there. Um, we probably will make the door separately, but what I'm going to do here is. Uh, make a gap for it so I'm going to insert it again because I want to make a little frame like that and bring it in a little bit and down so it's not going over the bottom and I'm going to delete it so I'm hitting delete and I'm going to delete that as well and now you can see that uh, we have this nice little door frame there Okay, so when we make our door, we can put it straight in there. Okay, also, I think we need some windows. Now, if I look at some of the uh, what, some of the reference images that I found, so I'm going to open these up here. Something like these ones. You can see that they're quite long, um, and they're the two stage ones. I'm probably going to make them one stage, so not two panes of glass, it'll be like one solid pane of glass. And I think I'm going to go for the sort of skyscraper size, size sort of uh, ones. I, 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 I sort of think this is like a studio apartment flat now. <laughs> so I'm probably going to sort of make them quite long and tall and have like three or four of them. So to make that a bit easier for myself, I'm going to cut them up. So I need to enable this graphite toolbar again. And if you haven't Got it for some reason. If you go to customize, show you why, and show ribbon, it'll come up. So once that's up, we're going to hit swift loop. And I'm just going to make some rough selections about where I think these windows should be. Be one in the middle. Alright, so that's kind of where I think they should be. So I'm going to just again, I'm going to cut through, make loops with swift loop. So it's actually going the way around. It's not in the... All right, I'll do it manually then. So, if you right click to come out of Swift Loop, and then we're going to click our windows that are the same, we'll do one in the middle differently. And again, I'm just going to insert them a little bit. Insert them a little bit. Uh, I'm going to move them back. I'm going to insert them again. We have like a little metal frame around them. So that, that, that's, our, that's basically going to be our windows because we're going to add some sort of um, trickery effect. They're not actually going to be like made of glass. There's just going to be a texture on them to make it look like there's a window there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same process for the other walls as well. So uh, I'm just going to speed this bit up. So, um, yeah. Okay, now I've gone ahead and I've finished off those windows. So we now have them uh, sort of put into the model. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to start applying um, some uh, some 3ds Max material onto it just to so it's not all purple, so I can see kind of what I'm doing. It's not going to be the final materials by all means, but it's just a test. So I'm going to open up uh, by pressing M, and I'm going to go ahead and make the floor texture. So I'm going to use, I'm going to be using carpet. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, choose a browny colour. Like that. And just, if you go into polygon mode and select a colour, like, sorry, I mean, select a surface, you can apply directly to that surface. As you can see. Uh, also, I'm going to select the walls. 
if you want to be able to switch between um, like move and rotate and everything really quickly, it's Q, W, E, and R. So Q, W, E, and R. It's really easy to use. Um, Shana, double tap them or press them if you're already on them because it will change the mode. And to change the mode back, you just click, click and hold it on one of the options at the top. So we've got our ball selected there. Now the outside walls don't matter because you're not going to see them. So, so again, make another standard material. And I'm going to make this sort of dark silver. So that's positioning the wrong one. So it's different from normal. Okay. And then the inside of the windows. Gonna be a much lighter colour. Again, this is just to see what I'm doing. This is not actually how it's going to look. So don't worry. Um, okay, so that's better for now. I'll do. Oh, we can just sort of get a bit of better understanding of what we're doing. All right. So in the next episode, I'm going to be making some more changes to this and also doing starting some of the UV mapping. Alright, so I'll see you in the next tutorial.